In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pipe a ranunculus flower in buttercream on a cupcake. Uh, ranuncula are beautiful. We don't have any real ones to show you, but we do have some artificial ones um, that we use just as a guide. Um, and also because I wanted to show you sort of what the real thing would look like. Um, so as you see, they're just sort of rounded flowers. They're similar to roses, but they're more petals and they're more, um, have a more rounded look. And um, the ones that we are going to do today, just like many of these, are more closed. Um, but you'll see them, if you start looking around, you'll see the ranuncula bouquets all over the place. Um, so just look online and you'll get some really great ideas uh, for the ranunculus coloring um, that you wanna use and the types of flowers that are used in ranuncula bouquets. Uh, we are going with a pastel color theme today. So, if you're ready, we will get started. Okay, so what we're working with today is just a, some simple cupcakes made with our white almond sour cream recipe. And I'm starting with a piping bag that is fitted with a Wilton tip 10. Um, tip, a tip 12 would be fine too. I just like a nice round tip to do our base coat of frosting. And this is just a really thin coat that will give our petals something to cling to. I noticed when I didn't use uh, this thin coat that sometimes I could see through to the cake beneath um, in between the petals. And so I just like to do that, but that's optional. And you wanna hold it pretty close to the surface of the cake so it won't be really thick because we're getting ready to add more icing. Okay. Let me go ahead and switch to the main petal tip that we're going to be using. This is a Welton Tip 61, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. It looks like that. A lot like the Tip 104, which we use so often, except for it's curved. And that gives us a nice curve to our petals. It makes them look a little bit fuller. Okay. And over here, I have my piping bag fitted with a Wilton Tip 12. Tip 10 is fine, too. I use these medium round tips um, interchangeably. And this buttercream is tinted with Americolor Electric Green. Uh, the pink that I'm using is Americolor Deep Pink. Okay, so this right now, all I'm doing is piping a little ball in the center. Like that. And that will give us a little peek at that green color in the center that's common with the ranunculus. Um, it also gives our petals something to cling to. Okay, so it's time to start piping our petals. I'm holding the piping tip so that the thin end is up, like we often do. And I'm holding it so that it's almost parallel to the point where we're, to the, um, the ball in the center and it's just directly across from me. Okay, so I'm going to start piping. And there we have a petal. And you see how it curves really nicely. With the other petal tip, it would be more likely to be just straight. It wouldn't have any curve to it. So that's why I like that. Now I tend to do three petals that are sort of overlapping. So I'm going to start this one here. like that. And then I'll do a third one right here that will overlap this one and the other one. There. So now we have a good start to our center. I like to wipe off the piping tip pretty often in between because it's easy to get a messy edge if you just let it go several petals without wiping it. And I'm going to um, start piping with the cupcake on the surface of the countertop now. Okay. And it's up to you how you do this, how many petals you do. Um, I usually do overlap my petals. Let's see if I can... I'm going to turn my body so you can see it a little better. Okay, so there's one. 
and you see I'm just holding the tip directly across from me, you can slightly turn it towards you and that will affect how um, tightly these petals are closed. There's another one. Okay. You can do longer petals than me if you'd like to. Um, sometimes I do an up and down motion if I want more height to my petals. So I'll go sort of in the motion of an upside down U. I touch down, bring it up a little, and then come back down again. And see where these two meet, I'm going to plan my next petal right over top of those. Okay, so we touch down, slightly pick it up, back down again, release the pressure, and let go. Now, if you want to start opening up your petals just a little bit, you can just angle the small end of the tip just a little bit more straight, a little bit further away from you than before. And even if there's some separations in the petals, you really can't tell because of that base coat of icing being the same color. Okay. Still keeping the petals pretty straight up and down though. I, I don't usually open them up too much. Okay. Maybe one last one. We could be ready at any time. We could be finished at any time at this point. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do another ranunculus, this time with our lemon yellow icing. Again, we're doing our base coat. I'm doing it with a tip 12 this time because that's what I happen to have close by. Do a little coat of frosting, and then I'm going to change tips back to my 61, and I've rinsed this tip out. Okay. Green in the center. Alright, so we'll start out. Again, the curve is coming towards me. The small end is at the top. There's one. And this is our fluffy vanilla buttercream, but you could use whatever icing you like that will hold its shape nicely. Um, it's a medium consistency. The thicker that you get, um, the more the petals will be able to open up if that's the look that you're going for. Um, sometimes if it's too stiff though, it's hard to get a clean um, ribbon of buttercream. No, I mean, cut it off. Okay, so we have our first row done. Now I'm going in the second row. See these two are overlapping so I'm going to start mine here. Just like that. And you might take your buttercream up a little bit and back down like we talked about. Okay. And we'll continue. I really like the look of so many petals. Some of mine I have a few more petals than others. But they all are um, piped pretty tightly, especially in the center.
My piping tip, the way that's easiest for me is that it's always directly across from me as I'm piping. It's sort of centered. Whereas I tend to hold it to the side when I'm doing other flowers. For me, it's easier to hold it directly across from me for these. Okay, and you can take this as far out as you'd like. I might do one more. My bag is starting to run a little bit low. Okay, there. And I ended this one with a little bit more of an open look to the petals. Um, and that's just optional. I'll grab, let me grab another one. This one's a little bit more tightly closed. You can see they're all going to be a little bit different unless you really take the time to count every petal and make them uniform, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, you can see here I textured that little green center um, with the end of my paintbrush once the icing had crested. And that's optional. It just gives it a little dimension. This one's not quite crested yet. Here's one that I can show. I don't know that it adds anything, but it's just a little extra detail. Okay, so with this flower, if you wanted to close the petals even more, once it's crested a little bit, you can really get in there with a paintbrush and fold it over to whatever look you're going for. So that's a big advantage to cresting buttercreams. But I thought it looked pretty as it was, but just in case you ever have a petal that's not quite falling the way that you had intended, you can always go back in and change it a little bit. We'll just texturize the middle. And we're finished. Okay, now just to make an interesting presentation, we are going to make a little vase from a little six inch round that we trim down enough to where it's about the same height or a little bit lower um, than this, the height of the cupcake, the frosted cupcake. Um, and it's round right now, but we're gonna make just a little crescent cut out of it just so it looks a little bit more like a vase and I'm going to just take a little bit off the bottom too to kind of flatten it see if I can do this you want your serrated I'm going to just do it like this okay there um, and then we are going to take some buttercream that's tinted turquoise and frost the cake. Okay, so now I'm just taking my cake board and cutting it down to the size of the cake. You could do this after you frost your cake if you'd rather. I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way now. Okay, and then I have my buttercream here. We'll just frost over it. This is just a one layer cake. If you wanted to, you could um, tort it and fill it. But for us, it's more just a part of the presentation. I'm not too worried about spending too much time on it. I just want it to look pretty. Let's see. I think we should have put some tape step. down. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to frost over the cake. It's already 
settled with a little weight on it just in case it were to sink. I'm not even bothering with a crumb coat. I'm just going to put my icing on a little bit thicker and take away the excess. Okay. So we will meet back in just a second and smooth out the vase. Okay, so I've been smoothing, you can tell, um, with the Viva paper towel, but you do whatever smoothing method is your favorite. And we have a video on smoothing methods. Okay. So I'm just going to keep on smoothing. And in just a second, I'm going to chill this in the freezer for about 10 minutes because I'm going to transfer it to the final cake base. And we will meet back in just a second. Okay, so here we are. Um, I just moved my vase over to our board. Our board is just a masonite board that we already had. It's wrapped with um, a plastic tablecloth. And I'm using my piping tip. This is a um, Wilton Tip 4. And I'm just making some dots. For just a little bit of detail on our vase, but just very simple because I want um, all eyes to go to the roses, or not roses, ranuncula, ranuncula. <laughs> what? <laughs> ranuncula sisters. We looked online and we were looking up pronunciations and I think that the plural is ranuncula and the single flower is ranunculus. Lus. Okay. So I switched out my tip to a tip 12. I still will probably go back and pipe, pipe some more dots around the side, but um, just to go ahead and get, get things moving, we'll do the top rim. This is a Wilton tip 12, and I'm just going to outline it. Okay, so in our room, um, we had some little air bubbles. I don't know why, but you can't just smooth over them with a Viva like we would do with our cake because it's a little bit hard to do that. So I'm just taking a paintbrush and just minimizing any air pockets. I left that one kind of deep one there because that's a good spot for a leaf to be anyway. Okay. Um, I've started moving over my cupcakes to my cake board. Um, I'll just show you. Just put a little dot of icing on the bottom and put them in place as snugly as you can um, because hopefully we'll be able to just pipe little leaves here and there and the spots that are open in between and um, it'll all come together really nicely. Okay. I have a few different shades of color, or at least two, my pink. Um, I have some light, some dark, but they're all the Americolor Deep Pink in case you're wondering. And this is obviously a lot of flowers for our little vase, but I think the flowers are so pretty. I don't want to leave any out if I don't have to. Okay, so I'm going to continue just kind of playing around with the arrangement. And um, we'll meet back and pipe some leaves in just a second. Okay, so now we are just filling in with our leaves. We still might play around with the arrangement. It's funny how 
um, you can get sucked into spending a lot of time just with the placement of your cupcakes. Uh, but we want to go ahead and finish this out. So uh, for the leaves, I'm using just a basic Wilton Tip 352. It's just got a little snip out of the center. Um, ranuncula have leaves, at least according to these fake ones that we have, that look like this. And since I don't have a piping tip, it's going to look like that. And I don't really want to add fondant. I'm just piping sort of three tips together, one long one and then a couple of short ones. So, for instance, right, where would be good spot? That giant one will conquer in a second. That's our big space. Okay, right here, for instance, we'll cover up this air bubble. So I'll do sort of a long one. And then I'll just do some little short spikies off of that. Most people are not going to know or care if your leaves are a particular shape. Um, that's about the best I can do, though, for um, trying to be a little bit accurate with these leaves. Okay. So we have a big space here, and I'm going to see what I can do about it. Just make a little bridge. And in some places we might just see it just a little a little bit of the leaf. And adding the leaves is optional because it is, you know, more icing and it's um may fall down a little bit when you go to separate your cupcakes. But I think it does add something um, to the look. You can even add them just picking off of your flowers here and there. Okay, I'm just continuing to fill in. I took a break and stiffened my icing just a little bit more. Um, for this one, once it crusted, I just wanted to show you, you can always use a toothpick and um, add some little veins if you wanted to um, or reshape whatever you want to do. Um, over here on the board I added a few leaves. That's just optional. It just kind of filled a space here and there. Um, for instance right here we could do some little leaves. But at this point, the cake could be finished. I mean, I'm just adding little leaves here and there, but it already looks really pretty, I think. So here we are. We are finished and I think that it turned out really, really pretty. Um, even if you don't go with a vase presentation like we did, I think just a platter of these would be so pretty at a shower or um, birthday or pretty much any event that calls for something elegant like this. Um, these ranuncula are not difficult to do. Uh, you just got to get used to piping with a petal tip. And I love the petal tip that we used today, and I think that you'll really like it too. Um, they really don't take that long to make uh, once you get into the swing of things. So, I hope you'll give this flower a try. I think it's really impressive looking. And we will see you next time.